We are less than two weeks away from the Hampton Heat 200 at Larry King Laws Langley Speedway down there in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, this is the second leg in the Virginia Triple Crown. Uh, it, it should be an exciting race. I hope it will be an exciting race. Uh, unfortunately, it was one of the most boring late model stock car races last year, despite it being the second leg in the Virginia Triple Crown. Most of the drivers were just kind of sitting back, running half throttle, just riding around. I talked to one of the local drivers, Davey Callahan, who races at Dominion Speedway and entered into the race. Uh, and he said he was even bored in the cockpit because they were racing just at half throttle to try and save those tires. I think Jared Fryer ended up kind of just going, uh, taking it away at the end of the race there in the last leg. And there wasn't really any good uh, competition or racing. I mean, there was no racing even throughout the pack. It was, it, it sucked, if I'm being honest. Hopefully, I will get a better race this year. And the favorite has to be uh, Connor Hall. Connor Hall has absolutely dominated the Taylor Way Services late models at Larry King Law's uh, <laughs> raceway. Uh, he has won 10 races and started 10. He has won every single race that he has started. And that includes twin races when he wins the first race and then his, uh, they invert the field. He starts in eighth. He works his way through the field and wins again. That is something that he did this past Saturday after an hour and a half rain delay. They eventually got their entire uh, schedule in, ended at 2 a.m., uh, and Connor Hall absolutely just dominated, was the class of the field, and he wasn't against uh, any slouches. Butterbean Queen was in the race. Uh, he has been one of the top competitors in the Cars Tour, basically going head-to-head -head with um, Carson Quaffle for that points lead, and then Connor Hall is kind of right there in there. They've been the top three drivers all year in the Cars Tour, uh, and, and Butterbean just, he just didn't have it. Uh, Connor Hall was easily able, able to drive by him. I think the biggest competition for Connor Hall was in the second race when, uh, Casey Wyatt actually was the beneficiary of the invert. Uh, if you can see here, uh, sorry, Casey Wyatt, let me scroll that over. Casey Wyatt was the beneficiary of the invert led for about 30 laps before Connor Hall was able to uh, pick his way through the field and then easily picked his way up. And then Wyatt actually had a really, really good race between him and Ryan Matthews for the last couple, um, couple laps there. Uh, excellent racing. And then uh, you can see there, Brennan Queen finished sixth in the second second race, uh, was bested by Landon Pembleton, who will obviously be entering in that second, um, second leg. Uh, be, that being his first race here, he's trying to get some... Uh, laps on the track, figure it out, get it set up right. And then you had um, uh, former track champion Greg Edwards there in fifth, who actually had a really good car. Uh, I think he, yeah, he finished third, um, third in the first race. And then Matt Waltz had a pretty strong car in the first race, but um, clearly faded significantly in the second race, finishing 10th. So, uh, but Connor Hall, I think definitely is going to be the guy to beat for the Hampton Heat. Hopefully, it's a lot better event than it was last year. Again, I cannot tell you how absolutely boring that event was. So I'm really looking forward to it being a very exciting event, uh, especially after the exciting races we've had in the late models uh, at South South Boston. Excellent race um, for their South Boston 200. We just had some really great Cars Tour races at uh, Dominion and Caraway. So hopefully, hopefully this one is really good as well. And uh, maybe there's some different strategies employed. Maybe they've changed up the way that they actually um, do the race with all of the breaks and stuff to try and make it a little bit more exciting. But we'll have more details on this as we get closer to that July 22nd mark and we get a, uh, an entry list as well because uh, they just opened up. Um, uh, they're just now taking um, applications to sign up for the race.